Hey, blessings, 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 prayer warriors here in the middle of the month, Saturday, April 15th. God bless you on this day. And thank you so much for taking a little bit of time and joining together with other prayer warriors as we continue to intercede on behalf of our nation, our world, and one another. Our Bible reading for today is Luke chapter 15, verses 1 through 10. What man of you, verse 4, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it? Watch this. And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders. What love. Even when somebody backslides and makes a mistake, God is still there to put us on his shoulders. Oh, if we could just get this mind to comprehend the love of God. Amen. Our nation that we're praying for is Guyana. They're asking for uh, help with the vision that they have there to reach the local believers and to get the word of God out in that area. It has a population of 700,000, 16.7% evangelical Christians and number 36 on your prayer chart. We are praying for number 17 and 18, Kansas City, Kansas and Oklahoma, Kansas, 2.9 million, 31% evangelical, Oklahoma, 3.9 million, 47% evangelical. Wow. <laughs> Love to see that in New Jersey. Amen. And our prayer focus today is evangelism and discipleship. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and pray as we kick off our day here or whatever part of the day you're with me. Father, we again bless you and honor you and thank you for this new day. Lord, as I just said a moment ago, if we could just comprehend your love, that it's not you putting these trials in our lives, it's not you doing all this junk that goes on in this life, Lord, that you love us. When we're going through hard times, you carry us, almost like that poem, Footprints in the Sand. You're always there. You're always helping. You're always loving. Oh, to comprehend the love of Almighty God. We do love you today, and we praise you and give you thanks for this amazing weather we've had for a, the few days, and now I hear a little change in the weather, but it's all good, Lord, because this is all going to pass away and one day we're going to enter into perfect realm, <laughs> perfect realm. We look forward to that, Lord. That's why we are constantly looking up. We are living in warp speed days <clears throat> because scripture is being fulfilled. Lord, we lift up evangelism and discipleship. We pray for those that are being discipled, those that are growing in the Lord, those that are helping make disciples of others. We pray for the evangelists out there, people that are sharing the gospel, be it with their neighbors, be it in auditoriums, whatever way it is, Lord, each of us reach one. Amen. Each one reach one. And I thank you for that, Lord. Lord, in our worldview, we lift up Guyana before you, and we pray for the believers there, the leadership there, that their vision will be strong for 2023, and that they'll be able to encourage, strengthen, and renew them as they go and share Christ in their community. And I thank you for that. We lift up Israel before you, Father. And we continue to pray, Father, for all that's going on there, being surrounded by enemies now because of the weakness of the United States. Saudi Arabia is now uh, having a peace treaty with Iran. So more nations that will be going against Israel. Lord, I just thank you that you're not done with America, but you're not done with Israel. We know that for sure. So our eyes are upon you. We're going to see one of the greatest demonstrations of our God moving on the behalf of Israel soon. And we look forward to it. We don't look forward to war, but we look forward to seeing our God move. We lift up Kansas and Oklahoma today. With so many believers in both of these states, we pray for their strength. We pray, Father, for the people of the United States to have common sense and to have spiritual discernment of who they vote for, Lord, 
these people wouldn't be getting in office if, if Christians were voting according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And I'm not talking about presidents. I'm talking about mayors and governors and city councils and freeholders and congressmen and, and women and, and on and on, Lord. I pray for Christians, Lord, to open their eyes, to see the hour that we're living, to be voting and doing what they can do to help bring some morality to our nation. Because the way we're going, judgment's around the corner. We pray for this United States of America. We pray for those that are in authority. We again bind up evil people, Lord. We bind them up in Jesus' name. Many of them are delusional. Many of them are even demon-possessed. We bind them up. We pray for the godly that you would strengthen them and use them. Lord, we lift up those in the executive branch, legislative branch, judicial branch of our government, and we pray, Father, for common sense, Lord. Common sense, Lord. We lift up the prayer cards that have come in this week, Lord. We pray over the needs of brothers and sisters, Lord. We pray for needs to be met, special ones that have come in during the week, come in on Sunday, those on the prayer line, Lord. We pray for those that are in the hospital, those that are going to doctors today and something's not right, this and that, Lord. Lord, we know the outward man perished, but the inward is being renewed. But you also said that you would take care of us, even when our hair is silver, to our old age. And I thank you for that promise. A promise is a promise. So we claim today healing in our bodies from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. And we thank you for it, for your word gives us that comfort. Over 150 scriptures that it is your will to heal and not your will to put sickness. The thief comes not, but for to steal, kill, and to destroy. Lord, we do praise you for this day. I pray for my brothers and sisters today, and I pray, Father, for a good, good Saturday for them, Lord. I pray that if they got to get their shopping done, their house cleaned, or just a day of R&R, whatever it might be, that it might be a blessing to you, Lord. It might be a blessing to them also. Lord, we love you and we honor you and we exalt you again. We lift up your son's name, the Lord Jesus, and we thank you so much for sending him to us. We love you, sir. We honor the name that's above every name, the name of our Savior. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. God is good, each one reach one, and let's stay in prayer during the course of our day, amen. Little one-minute prayers here and there go a long way. They are incense to the Father. Amen. Let's make a cloud today. God bless.